Hi, I'm Arlo Leach. Thanks for your interest in my Washboard app. And I'd like to demonstrate everything that this app can do as of version 2.0. When you first launch the app, you see your Washboard. And as you'd expect, you can scrub the metal part of the Washboard. Uh, you can also just tap the board to get a little more subtle sound. And most uh, players like to tap mostly and just use the scrub for emphasis. Um, you can also tap the wood at the top of the board and get an, a different sound. Okay, uh, that's the basics and it only goes so far. What you really want to do is dress up your washboard with some additional instruments. And you can see all the available instruments by pressing the plus button in the lower left corner. And this brings up a little window with some different instruments. You can scroll to the right and left and see everything that's in there. And to, pl put, and to put these on your washboard, all you have to do is drag and drop into the position that you want. So there's a little cowbell. And here's a bigger cowbell. And here's a little horn. These instruments have to be positioned somewhere on the wooden frame of the washboard. Uh, if you don't have it over the washboard, the instrument will show in black and white. And if you let go, it'll disappear. So to place it, again, just drag it until it becomes colored, and then you can let go, and it'll stick. You can also rotate your instruments to place them differently. Just use a two-fingered gesture to rotate them around. And there's one cowbell, and there's another cowbell on either side. And let's put our horn this way, and we're all set. Let's get one more thing on here. A um, little symbol would be nice on the bottom side. Okay, now, whenever this uh, window is open, the instruments are movable. Um, but if you want to play your washboard and you don't want to accidentally move them around, just close that window, and now they're locked into place. Okay, if you want to remove them, remember they're locked into place, so open this window again and now they're movable and now you can drag them off the frame until they turn black and white and then you can let go. Now the first half of this window is filled with musical instruments and then there's a dividing line and then we see some other things that are just decorations. Uh, some washboard players like to have fun with their washboards and put different things on and so uh, we can do that in this app as well. We can add a little bow tie, try to rotate that around and we've got a hula girl we can put on top get, get her straight up here and you'll notice that if you move the iPad she wiggles her skirt and we even have some party lights These are kind of big so that makes them kind of hard to uh, position but if you get them right in that frame they should stay put the cool thing about the party lights is that whenever you play an instrument they light up so that is how you can customize your washboard you can put any number of these instruments on at one time. So if you want to have two bicycle horns and three cymbals, you can do that. If you want to surround your washboard in cowbells, it's up to you. Now, those are the instruments that are built into the washboard. Uh, there's one other feature I'll show you. And this is for people who use MIDI equipment, either software or hardware. You can actually connect the washboard app to a MIDI sequencer and use the washboard as a MIDI controller to play any other sound that's in your sequencer. The way to set that up is to touch the settings icon in the lower right corner and the only option available is the option to send MIDI notes. If I turn that on then I see a field for every instrument on the washboard including the tap, the scrub, and the wood sound of the washboard itself and then a note number associated with each of those. So these are some default note numbers that you can try out but if you want to assign the parts of the washboard to different instruments on your MIDI sequencer, you can change those numbers. We'll just save it with the uh, default. And I have my iPad connected to my computer right now via Wi-Fi, and I'll put a link down below to show you how to do that if you uh, are curious. And I just have Logic Express running on my computer, and I have a track pulled up with a drum kit on it. And uh, now that we've turned on the MIDI, let's just Okay, there's a little latency there with the Wi-Fi, but I've got the uh, washboard tap mapped to a snare sound. And I'm still hearing the sound of the washboard itself, so I'll just turn down the volume 
on the iPad and just play the MIDI. And that's mapped to like a bass note or something. Uh, let's see what these are mapped to. A little uh, kind of a bongo drum and another strange bass sound. Of course, I can just change the uh, I can just change the patch on the MIDI sequencer to bring up some other sounds. One more. All right, a little more of a hip hop sound. So again, you need some MIDI equipment to make this work, but if you use MIDI, you can have fun with that. Let's just turn it back off, turn our volume back up on the iPad, and we're back to our normal washboard sounds. Now there's just one more button on the screen, that's the info button. This brings up some basic instructions, like we've already talked about. A link to some jug band music, which was my inspiration for creating the Washboard app. And most importantly, a link to washboardapp.com. And this goes to the Washboard app website, uh, where you can find an email link that goes to me. And if you have any questions, or you're having a problem, or a suggestion for how to improve the app, you can just email me from that link, and I'll be happy to help you. Now everything that you've seen here on the iPad works equally well on the iPhone or iPod Touch, so you can literally have a full washboard orchestra in your pocket. Have fun with it.